Hello, Officer Scorpio. Welcome now to Thursday. Well, sunny, focused, and sharp. Get out of the Scorpio's way. They are definitely feeling empowered from the inside. The moon is well in Aries, so you are emotionally sensitive to your borders and boundaries, which, you know, makes most people rather trigger happy. But when you're a Scorpio and born with a weapon, it's not that big of a deal. In fact, it feels kind of good. So I think you're feeling pretty good because you can sense everything around you. It's that force nature that you have. I'm talking about Star Wars force to sense if there's something wrong or a disturbance in it. Well, that said today, take advantage of that and you might want to take a little time off in a Scorpio den sort of way. Zip it to the sun. We're in chapter three of Sun and Cancer and the Scorpions this month are actually working on what they believe which is a very important part of our soul, our belief structure. It is the autopilot in which life will manifest when we're not looking. And so you gotta go back and rewrite it every now and then, make sure it's updated. Well, today there's no extra work to do, but pump love into what you believe. We have no ruling planet. Part of setting this new script, that's what you're doing. You're giving God a script. Okay, this is how I want it to go, okay. Now the cool thing is God won't give you any notes. Actually, your guides will if you meditate but the universe won't give you any notes. The universe will just run the script. So today, to get that script kind of uh, uploaded, what you wanna do is just love all of your ideas. Love your ideas of where you wanna grow and where you wanna go and what you wanna do. Love what you believe, love all of that. Oh, I just love this, I love this topic, I love Russian history, love it. By loving it, you're pumping God consciousness into it and that is what draws in that reality. That is what uploads the script. And we got Sadiqa Salter, our renegade aromatherapist, live today. Sadiqa is here to talk about how planet Earth loves you. And that is through the plant queendom. That's right, the plants giving us and growing energies that we consume. This is a nice thing of them to do, to give their life for us to eat. Ever thought about that? Well, they are alive, and she's going to talk about it. She's live everywhere, Soul Garden Streams. All right, officer, that's all I have for the day. Tomorrow, your full weekend forecast. Until then, live, love, be. Soul.